Hello everyone, I'm Edward and welcome to Windows Report. In this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 on a virtual machine. This process is a bit more complex so make sure you follow all the steps thoroughly. To start with you need to download and install the virtual machine. Firstly you have to download VMware Workstation. I will also post a link in the description below. Of course you will need to pick the correct version for the system you are installing it on and once it is downloaded double click the installer to start the installation. The file might request administrative privileges so agree to that. Follow the on-screen instructions and don't forget to check the box if it's not already checked with add VMware workstation console tools into system path. After the installation just restart your PC. Then you need to create the Windows 10 ISO. If you don't have a Windows 10 ISO file already, you can create one by using the Windows Media Creation tool. I will also post a download link in the description below. After you open the creation tool, just make sure to choose the ISO file option in the Which Media to Use page, then select a path and save it. The tool will then create a Windows 10 ISO file for you to run in the virtual machine. Now you have to set up the virtual machine. Once you start the VMware app, just select the Create a new virtual machine option. Then choose the middle option which asks for an installer disk image file or ISO. Select your ISO file and then click on Next. In here you can name your virtual machine and after you named it, proceed further where you have to set a maximum disk size. It's usually recommended to set it at at least 60 GB. Then press Next. Now click on customize hardware and set the RAM amount, processors and all other components. You will need at least 4 GB to run the system that will use the memory from your physical PC. And click on close then select finish. Next you have to check if the virtualization is on your PC and enable it. To check if the virtualization is on, all you have to do is click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type system information. Then click on system information. Then on the bottom of the page just look at the line saying virtualization enabled in firmware. If the value is no, you have to enable it in BIOS. To do that just click the start button and select settings, then click on update and security. Next, click on recovery from the left pane and hit the restart button on the right. Then in the following screen just select the troubleshoot option, then advanced options and lastly click on the UEFI firmware settings. Then in the next window just press restart. Afterwards you will see a startup menu in which you need to open the BIOS setup and you can do that by pressing either F2, delete or F10 depending on your PC. Once you access the BIOS, just click on System Configuration, find the Virtualization Technology option and change its value from Disabled to Enabled. And press the F10 key to save the changes and exit then confirm. The next step is then to install Windows 10 on your virtual machine. Open VMware and click on Power On this virtual machine to start the Windows 10 machine you just created. After a few seconds you will see the Windows 10 logo and then you will set up the keyboard, language and date. Now click on the Install Now button. Afterwards select the I don't have a product key option and then click on the operating system you want to install. Windows 10 Pro will do just fine. Then choose the partition you want to install it on and you will see the one created at the previous step. Now the installation will go through normally and it will take a little bit more time than it would do on a regular PC because you're running it on a virtual machine of course. For the last part you have to join the Windows Insider program. On your real PC go to the dedicated Microsoft page and create an Insider account. I will also post a link in the description for the Windows Insider program to create an account and after you created it on your newly installed Windows 10 on the virtual machine just go to settings and then click on the update and security option. Then click on the Windows Insider program option from the left pane and then click on the get started button from the right. Select the Windows Insider account that you used to log in your Windows 10 virtual machine and afterwards choose the Dev Channel option and click Confirm and Restart now. Then you have to wait for Windows to load and once it's loaded you have to go back to Windows Update in the Settings menu and then check for updates. 
Now it should start downloading Windows 11. Of course, you will need to reboot your virtual system when prompted. So the whole trick about installing Windows 11 on your virtual machine is to first emulate the Windows 10 OS and then use your dev channel enabled Microsoft account to check for updates and install the new OS. Quite an interesting process, isn't it? Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments section. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.